Hello, hello. How are you doing today? I changed everything up in my office. Well, not like everything, but like now the desk is on this wall and the keyboard's over there. So I have my Nikon over here, but my computer camera's over there. So you can see all the hats, yeah. <laughs> so hi, one fire, welcome on in and congratulations on being first. Um, hi, Dr. Britannia. Congratulations on being second. Yeah, all the hats. So you can see all of them. Well, almost all of them. There is one over there that you cannot see, but it's the same style as... Let's see if I can point to this. No, no, other way, other way, other way. As this one, which is also hard for you to see, but I can just see this. Boop, there you go. Oh, you didn't even pick a hat. That one, the one that I just pointed to? Or the the one that's over there? So the difference being is one is black and one is purple. But they're the same style. And then, um, Warlock's gonna laugh at me, okay? I thought I lost my purple pair of sunglasses in Montana. They're in my freaking basket here, guys, where I put my keys at home. So I have my purple pair. I have the colorful pair. I have my green pair. I have a pair of aviators. And I have these giant monstrosities. So just so you know what's redeemable for the sunglasses one. Okay, so the purple one. Okay, one second. I'm gonna mute myself so you don't hear all the shuffling as I take off the headset, and I'm gonna go grab the purple one. Just be the bad mic on my desk.
see. Oh, and I went grocery shopping today. Does that have quotes? I even bought, I follow this lady on TikTok. And she made this one juice that has like all of these like nutritional values. It requires like pineapple and cucumber. So guess who bought a pineapple and cucumber today? Me. And I'll hate it. But it's fine. I hope you guys are refreshed. <laughs> And that you're here. Because it looks like I'm live on mine, but it's always like weird, it's like an unknown land. You got Jacob. Nice. Oh my gosh, you're making me do all the healthy things. Okay, here's the water. Okay, and what fruit? I have an orange, well, a tangerine. Apple or grape? There's methods to my madness. I'll eat your fruit. Oh my gosh, now two fruits? Oh, you're gonna make me eat all of them. Oh my god, okay. You're like, that way I don't have to choose. Just eat all of them, you heathen. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, I'm fine. <laughs> Thank you, Caldera. How are you doing today? Okay, this tastes different. They're like... Maybe these are black black grapes instead of the red grapes. Oh, you're good? Looking good. Happy Monday. When fire and Dr. Britannia, I hope your days are going well. Also, I totally did not start a timer for this hat, so we're just going to call it at 5.30, okay? And that's if I remember to take it off. I know. Thank you, Cal. What a boss move, man. I think I forgot to chew that one. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not sure how I like this new setup. Because when I'm editing pictures, this is what you'll see. Because the computer's over here. This camera's over there. I'm playing with it. I don't know if this is like a valid throat response, but these make me feel like my mouth is dry. Where did I go? I'm here, aren't I? I didn't crash again, did I? No? Well, I crashed earlier, like 30 seconds in. 
Because I'm on my old computer. I'm not really here. I'm just a figment of your imagination. <laughs> So the mouthfuls dry the more grapes I eat. I feel like that's not right. I feel like that's not what fruit's supposed to be. I'm just curious. Oh, why does it sound like it's that one? So both headset and mic go to this one. That's fucking stupid. My bad, guys. That doesn't really work either. How long can I balance this on there? <laughs> One fire. Hello again. I'm a trust you'll eat all the fruits, but I gotta run. I have to get up early for a minor surgery. Ooh. Yeah, I saw that because you were working on your deck or something. Good luck on the surgery. Thank you for the gifted sub. Thank you for making me drink water and eat all my fruit and do all the healthy things. I hope you have a wonderful night and that the surgery goes well and quickly so that you can eat. <laughs> I didn't get done only halfway. Oh no. We'll get it done. It's okay. Hi Toasty. Here's my water. I'm not allowed to do things for a few days, but I don't listen. <laughs> well, make sure to t take it a little easy at least, okay? That grape has like a brown thing in it. We're not going to eat that one. So welcome on in, Toasty. How was your Monday? Seriously, my mouth feels like... Cotton. After eating those. Okay, hold on. I'm going to readjust the hat. So I'm going to mute the mic since apparently both headset and mic are this. So one second. So I moved the headphones to the right in front of me since apparently that's where my mic is. So you gotta ask since I'm in Colorado. Okay, what do you gotta ask? By the way, I'm doing my fruit redeems. If you're wondering why we're not editing photos yet, that's why. Calderock so generously redeemed all three. <laughs> so I uh, finished my grapes. Now I have my apple and my orange left to go. Have I been to Casa Bonita? I have not. I was never there before it closed, and I haven't been there since it reopened. Have 
Have you been there? Or are you just curious about it? Like, I'll tell you what I know about it. And this is pre... Pre-closing. Or whatever. So... I knew there was, like, an arcade in it. I knew that there was a waterfall indoors. And I knew that their dessert was bomb. But the regular food made people shit themselves. That's what I knew. And I know it's now owned by the South Park people. And that's all I got. You haven't been to Colorado before. But you have family in the area so you've been wanting to go. I hear you have to get reservations far in advance. So maybe it's better now that it's not like brand new open. But I have no idea. And the food is probably better now and won't make people shit their pants. But, you know. Ow. I have. <laughs> I have a couple of Colorado peeps in chat. Maybe they've been to Casa Bonita? But I feel like this has come up before with my Colorado peeps and they haven't. Yeah, I heard the food was wild. And cliff divers? Oh, I don't know about those. I love South Park too, it sounds like an amusement park. I think it's even close to an amusement park. I think it's close to, um, shoot. Why can't I think of it? It's not Elitches, Elitches is downtown. Lakeside? I think it's close to Lakeside. I think Lakeside is right. I know it's Lake something. And Lake View doesn't sound right. I think it's Lakeside. Is that true? My AirPods keeps wanting to pop out. Oh, you like my hat? Why, thank you. One fire redeemed the hat redemption. Let me change this one. As you can see, there's quite a collection. But thank you. Yeah, that's why I got it, to be perfectly honest. I have two of them that are this style. This one's the purple one, and I also have a black one, which is... This one. I'm sorry that I can't stay. The only thing is I always want like a wider brim. Like I wish it was just a little bit wider. I have several sunglasses here today. So if somebody redeems sunglasses, I have one, two, three, four, five options. I 
I can't wait to tell Warlock that my purple ones were in Colorado this whole fucking time. See the sad plants I'm trying to save. So the dirt was so like rock hard. So I took all of the leafy things out with the roots and like crumbled up all of the dirt, like reset the dirt, repotted it. And now I just have to hope it lives. Just keeping plants alive. Ooh, sorry, isn't exactly my forte. I forgot that that's the bike. <laughs> we have to get smaller up. The hat technically expired, I think. I'll just wear it till I finish this apple, okay? Is that good with you? You're a terrible plant person, like keeping them alive. Um, I used to have a fiddly fig tree <laughs> that my mother-in-law gifted to me for some reason. Bad decision on her part. I don't 100% blame myself for its death, okay? It, like, was, like, a full, healthy, fiddly fig tree, and they're apparently very hard to, like, keep happy and alive. And it thrived in her office, okay? And she probably should have just left it there and, like, went in it every two weeks or whatever to water it. But she didn't. She brought it back to her house where it started to, like, lose leaves because it was not happy with the change of environment. And then she gave it to me, and I brought it to my house where it just continued to die. That was a little bit sad. I have killed one of these before. A pothos? Is that what this is? I don't know for sure. Um, I killed a peace lily once. But I've been, I have had this aloe vera plant. It's up there. That's why I'm looking up there. I've had it for like over a year now and that's still going. She should have given the tree to you, doctor, to be perfectly honest. She has two, two daughters now. One of them can barely keep a plant alive. And the other one has like 20 plants that are all doing very well. And who does she give the fiddle leaf tri fi tree to? Although if I had known you had wanted it, you could have had it. I didn't know. Like, I know, like, I had that little baby tree, and we talked about separating them, but if you wanted the whole thing, you could have the whole thing. Well, because when I got it, I don't think, I don't remember if you were here yet, like, all the way in Colorado yet, when I originally got it. I got it in 2020. And I don't remember when you... Yeah. Because you didn't come to Colorado till the next spring, I think? 
Yeah, toasty. I understand. And I want to have like a full-on ass garden in the front yard in a couple of years. And I'm like, I hope I can keep it alive. You are still at school? Okay. Little Shadow are gonna make pancakes for dinner? That sounds yeah. I have chicken in the fridge, so I'll probably do something with that. God, I'm so sorry. I just smacked the mic. This is why I can't have things right in front of me. Stare at that for a second as I readjust it. Hold on. Fingers are like fucking sticky from this apple. I need to bring the other, I made a new layout, whatever, um, that doesn't have like the black gaps over the top and bottom of the screen. There, now you can see all of Lightroom. Okay. New catalog. Up. 
one still left. <laughs> Skip this time. Now it's gonna reopen with the catalog. So I'm gonna start peeling my orange over here. Ooh, this one smells super strong. I don't think that bodes well for me. My pants now have like apple juice on them, orange juice. Oh, I forgot to take the head off. <laughs> okay, hold on, I'm gonna go hang it up. One second. This it's not all like bada 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 as I put it back on my head. Okay. Not gonna lie, I half expected to come back and one fire have redeemed like another hat. Um, I need to import the images. Why does it show stuff? Add folder. I didn't take very many. One, well, there's not a lot of places to pull over on I-25 between Montana and Colorado. Sorry, I'm getting little hairs off the orange. Okay. Oh yeah, holy crap. Okay. A really flavorful one. This is what a lot of Wyoming looks like, guys. I don't remember the shortcuts. Was it P? Yes. At least each slice is like small so it's like quick to get through but whew. I thought I was becoming a pro at oranges and this one is like humbling me.
You go right ahead, Britannia. <laughs> it is pretty, but I prefer more civilization around me. Shadow would never. <laughs> No, I would imagine not. Look at all that nothing. And then I was coming into Colorado right at sunset. Since there's not a lot of rest areas on I-25 in Wyoming, I made a habit of like going on the exit and pulling over to the side on the exit. You've been to Oregon before and the eastern side looks like this? Um, the western side? But like the mountains? Very dry and hilly. Yeah, that's us. <laughs> I think it's interesting. I'm pretty sure that's Long's Peak in the middle there. And I always think it's interesting how... Like, I don't know what, if the left one or the right one is Long's Peak. Because when you look at it further down I-25, you only see one. The lakes on the western side are better. Yeah, my mom was talking about getting our family to, like, do a reunion every year. And um, we tossed out a lot of ideas. Because, like, basically she's like, well, everybody should come to you because you're in the middle. And I'm like, I don't want everybody to come to me. I don't want to host that shit. Um, so we basically decided we should go completely different. Not anybody's house. And my suggestion was to go to Yellowstone. Let me go into here. 
Introducing Denoise, a new AI powered noise reduction. Oh, thank you. Pip pip. Why do I feel like there was a drop down like here? Your Yellowstone is always packed though and you gotta reserve your place online. So I've been to Yellowstone once. And I went in June of 2020. And it was still busy. But like all of the park rangers were talking about like, oh yeah, like this is a great time to come because hardly anybody's here. So I'm like, I can only imagine how packed it is on a normal basis. You suggested the cabins your parents just went to for Grandpa's big trip he wants to do. Yeah, but doesn't he want to, like, go to the Caribbean so he can go to a swim-up bar or something? Okay, I'm done with my fruit. Thank you again, Kaldorak, for redeeming that. Look, I can almost put it back together. All right. That would be his dream, except Gigi doesn't want to have a healthcare crisis in the Caribbean. Yeah, that's fair. Surely there's like a resort in the States that has swim up bars. Blue drama. That's what this filter is called. Whoa. Hey. Neon? Wow, that looks so realistic. Right, the Florida Keys or something? Yeah? California probably has several locations along the coast, I would think. Like resorts. Oh, that's portrait. I don't need to be in there. You wanna know where I wanna go? This totally would not help your grandpa out. <laughs> but I want to go to Maine. And Vermont and stuff. I want to go up there. But that's just going to have to wait. Someone has to go back to Greece in February. Yes, same. Um, so am I hearing future trip up to the northeast US? Arcadia National Park is in Maine. Yes, it is. And I would love to go. I don't know if you know this, Toasty, but I have a National Parks board game. And it has amazing art in it. Oh, don't you know, Windfire? Oh, yeah. I'd love to go to Maine. I 
I don't know why I have to talk in a higher voice when I do this accent. I don't want black and white. I don't like any of these. Can you believe that when Warlock comes down on Friday, that it's going to be his first time in Colorado since July? Like almost three months. Right? July. Two months. No. Because it'll be October, basically. Two and a half months. I just want to know who made these decisions on these filters and why are there so many? Like, why do we need 12 spring filters? That one's not bad. Okay. Try landscape. I don't have my preset that I made on my other computer. So I might have to make another one. Oops. creative. Ooh, make everything orange. So creative. Oh my god. I'm just sassy, I guess. I know I started with Vivid last time. So just stop there again, shall we? Too much DHs. Little Shadow's not a great kitchen helper yet. <laughs> not yet, huh? They have those little like um, step stool things that closes all around them so that they can't fall off. We'll have to get one for them. I feel like stream is so like glitchy on this computer. Guys, I cannot wait to have my life back just completely in Colorado. It's gonna be so great.
You're gonna get a new laptop on the next Prime Day. A laptop or like your tablet thingy that you had? Oh my god, sorry, one second. I need to adjust this earbud. Okay. Right, I think I'm done with that one, so we'll open that in Photoshop here after. Oh wait, hold on. Make a new preset. Talking about Prime, by the way, did you notice that the bot messages are coming from Going Witch? A legit laptop, you want something a bit bigger than the tablet? Do you know what you're gonna get? Even though if you tell me, I probably won't know shit about it, but... Nope, lol, just needs internet, word, uh, capability for Netflix and Disney Plus. Could... Hmm. Would it be worth maybe getting a laptop that Shadow can use for streaming too? Because I know he's mentioned stuff about his computer needing to be more powerful. Or like, do you need your own thing? Like, no judgment. I don't want to share my shit. No, because I want to spend max 200 to 400 and be able to take to conferences and such. Makes sense. Um, keep in mind, Best Buy also has those refurbished sections, and you can get pretty good deals there. That's where I got my Mac laptop. Did I do this? Okay, I think I did. Right? Mm 
Like, I know I didn't spend a lot on my laptop, and I've had zero issues with it, actually. Kind of surprising. I'm just so much more comfortable editing photos in camera raw. <gasps> you just had to bust out the phone name, middle name, and all, huh? Uh oh. Is he trying to splishy splash in the pancake batter? He threw his fork down the stairs. Did he look at you and go, uh oh? <laughs> Got the headphone cord stuck there. Um, do 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 do. Oh, and he threw it after you told him not to. Those toddlers, man. My nose is like whistling and I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but it's special. <laughs> this isn't essentially like the same fucking thing. Yeah. How do I unflag it? I don't know the shortcut for that. No, 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 no. Unflaked. Goodbye. <laughs> no, if you can't hear it. Well, that's good. <laughs> really loud. I'm gonna put that down a little bit. Rude. Lightroom. Down here, buddy. Why does this have a vignette on it? Like, and it's like pretty obvious. Undo the vignette. Undo the vignette. Well, that's better. She kissed my lips and the rain came pouring, so I heard a marching band. Okay. All of the fellow photographers that I know who are obsessed with Lightroom, I would just like to know. Why? Because <laughs> I feel like I can do all of this in Photoshop and Camera Raw. 
and now instead I'm doing stuff in one program and then have to send these pictures to the other program, instead of just doing it all in one program. Now I'm debating if I want to keep this monitor over here because I feel like I'm like, ugh, turn this way. I don't know. I don't know what I want. Yes, I do. I want it to be Friday. In specific, I want it to be Friday morning at 8.30 a.m. so I can pick Warlock up from the airport. Let me tell you, Billings has got nothing on the Denver metro area. I probably sound like such like a city snob, and I'm sorry. But bars and casinos just aren't my thing. Like, why do you think I moved away from like? Across Wisconsin. They don't have casinos, but. Boy, if you want to go to a bar, though, they got plenty of those. I appreciate this like huge stack of hay over here on the left. Very Wyoming. Very wow. Maybe, darling, because it is. I know Warlock said when he gets off the plane, he wants to go straight to Millie's. So I guess I'm we're done.
Hello, One Fire. One Fire, what are you playing today? really hot highlight and I don't know if I like it <laughs> balancing between Animal Crossing because of me you're welcome and Stardew and Spelunky I haven't logged into my Animal Crossing yet today. That was my plan for post stream. But I was also gonna see. I don't know when Warlock gets off of work today. If he wanted to play Stardew. I feel like it's been a bit since we played Stardew. Like a week? Okay. Well, if everybody on our farm is down with that, I'm down. What's funny is this first one's probably my favorite. Okay. I know my computer won't be able to handle having Lightroom and Photoshop open on this computer in particular. Shadows down later? Okay. Sounds good. So we just have to see if, um, if Warlock is up for it. I guess I'm curious, like, Where, so I like guess the catalog is in this folder, this i25 folder, but the images are not in there, so do I, export? I'll try and export, because I don't know. Oh, hold on. Put in subfolder. Lightroom edits. Okay, well this is kind of nice. You're just leaving work, so you're listening in the car. Well, hi, Warlock. I hope you had a good day today. Well, that is 
gonna take a bit to export. So I was thinking about ideas on my drive home. And y'all can maybe tell me if you think this is lame or not. Okay. So I've had a few people tell me now that um, they would have been there for trivia if they could have been like on Tuesday, but they're either streaming themselves at the same time or have something else going on at that same time. So this is my idea. Keep the regular travel and trivia Tuesday streams, but add a once a month stream called Summary Sunday, where I do it on like the last Sunday of the month or the first end of the month, whatever. And I show off like what has been accomplished that month on stream and then host one big trivia game of all of the trivias from that month. Something I'm thinking about. How are we doing, OBS? We're in the red? Of course we are. And now we're back. Now we're, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Orange, yellow, red, green. I believe in you, OBS. My goodness gracious. You like the sound of it, you're always done to answer questions I may or might not know the answers to. Well, and that's the thing, because like people, people who made it to the Tuesday trivia would have like a huge advantage, right? Because it'd be like a repeat of the questions. Because the thing is, is that like, I just, I would not come up with a whole new set of questions. It takes me forever to come up with the 15 questions that I do every Tuesday. So like, I, I would not. I would not do that. Okay, apparently I need to update my computer. Hi, Eileen. Welcome on in. Here's my water. Thank you so much. Maybe people should just study. <laughs> one fire. Are you being sassy, one fire? Okay. If stream crashes, I'm so sorry. I'm going to try to open all these at once. Ah! Huggies, Eileen. Welcome on in. I really hope you've been doing well. News around town is, is that you're super busy with family and adulting stuffs. Look at that. It opened all the pictures in Photoshop and did not crash my stream. Knock on wood. Goodbye, Radio Tower. See where all the little fence posts are. That one doesn't. Oh, do I want to keep these ones? Does it add to it or does it take away from it? That is the question.
You're well enough. Oh, life has kept you busy with the adulting responsibilities, but thank you, sending love my way and checking in on. Yeah, of course. Of course, and I hadn't seen you for, I don't know how long it was, like a week or so. I was like, I wonder where, like, if she, what she's up to. Because, like, I know, like, before, like, when you took vacation, like, you let everybody know you were taking vacation. So I was like, oh, something must have come up that's keeping her away from the stream. And that something is called life. <laughs> and that's okay. That's okay. A bunch of us just miss you. I hope things get better for you. If you want to talk about it, I'm happy to listen. When you put texture all the way up, that grass looks like crunchy. I don't think I'm in the fence. I just didn't like the radio tower because like the horizon line is pretty clean and then there was just like that tower. Indeed, LOL Life just throwing one of those curveballs out of nowhere. Oh, on top of keeping up with parent responsibilities. Life curveballs are no fun. I have dealt with several curveballs myself, so I hope I hope everything is okay. And I hope things improve for you soon. Um, yeah. The only thing I can tell you out of my experience with my curveballs is it does get better. Which is like totally cliche. And probably not very helpful at all. I don't like this dirt pile. What's up with that dirt pile? Goodbye, dirt pile. Thank you, Becca. Oh, no, you're an awesome friend. Thank you, Eileen. I appreciate that. Um, Eileen, if you'd like to know something funny, that happened to me in one of the darkest times of my life was I looked at my husband and I told him I told him you are the light of my life and you know what he said to me in return you're toasty because <laughs> I apparently was really warm So that happened. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now I just like to give him crap about it. <laughs> Hashtag husband moment. <laughs> and he's driving right now and can't even defend himself. I'm so mean. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. I laugh at it now. Um, he did. He did say right after, like literally, like half a second after. You're toasty, like, like you're my light in the dark too. Like, but it was just funny. Yeah. But yeah, so sometimes, now, I'll just look at him and be like, you are my light in the dark. 
and he knows he has to respond to your toasty because <laughs> now it's a thing. But seriously, Ailey, if there's any way I can help, please let me know, and I will be happy to do what I can. Well, he tried to make up for it, and now it's a cute joke between you and you. And I'm sure he loves how I tell everybody about it. <laughs> I want to see what AI can do here. <laughs> Suddenly going through and like click, 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 click to get rid of those highlights. Okay. This one. This one's the better one. Okay, and now there's just a few. Oopsies. I have to rasterize you. It sounds so, like, violent. I think me clicking OK did it. Okay, yeah. Like a mild threat. I have to rasterize you. One second. And well, Eile, I guess, you know, if that was going to make you cry, you could always use that as content for your 72-hour cry stream since PMO doesn't drink water, you know? I'm just helping you out. Save that one. Oop. <laughs> well, let's save it. Not in there. Save it in here. Yeah. But really, I wish PMO would drink water. It shouldn't be that hard, and we just care about his health. I know! He's young. I wasn't good about drinking water until two years ago ish. Save in the folder. Okay, you did. <laughs> Ooh, I might take a break. I need to like pop my back and stuff and stretch so i think i'm gonna take a quick break and then uh you'll get to see my obs here again for a second <laughs> and now you're over here um but i'm gonna take a quick break get rid of all of my 
fruit scraps that are in here now. Um, yeah, I'll only be a few minutes. I just need to like stretch my back. Okay, I'll be back, I promise. Okay, I am back, and somebody tried to steal my chair. Huh, what do you have to say for yourself? You should face this way. They want to see your cute face. They want to see your cute face. Yes, they do. Oh, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. All the kisses. Okay. It's always a little rough on the face. But it's really freaking cute. And you can see all three doggies on the futon. You can kind of see Willow. Willow's right here. 
And then we got Aspen and Sequoia. Willow's a little harder to see. Yeah. That's one reason I wanted the camera over there. And you know, it'll probably be okay once I have my other computer down here in Colorado. Cause they'll go right in front of me and then I'll be like here. Cause right now the computer's over there. Y'all are so cute. Yeah, y'all are so cute. A cuddle train. Yeah. I don't know where the cat went. Oh, you're on my piano. See, she's like that. On my keyboard. Back to editing the photos. There's really not a lot for me to do in this one. There's just this... I don't know what this is down here. Somebody might be breaking into my house right now, guys. I'm gonna die, it's okay. Shoot, it's just my Amazon package arriving. <laughs> Yeah, Aspen, did you determine it's a whole lot of nothing? I couldn't even tell you where in Wyoming I was when I took these pictures. Just along I-25. That's all I got. Should I leave? That. Taking the girls for their walks before getting comfy this evening. Enjoy the walk. Thank you for hanging out. appreciate you <laughs> um, I have like these specs on my monitor and I keep thinking they're like stuff in the picture there I think I got some of them Don't mind me. Okay. <laughs> Can I dehaze by color? I don't think so. Well, I guess luminance kind of does that. Okay, now 
now can I select... Oh, wrong tool. Hold on. like didn't grab this little piece this little tiny freaking piece right there why just meh. there we go I just like how solid blue they are so I'm gonna see what I can do about it great Ren streams. Hi Ren, how are you doing today? Welcome on in. I hope your Monday has not been such a Monday. <laughs> what am I working on tonight? Um, I am editing photos that I took on I-25 corridor between Montana and Colorado. Well, some of the pictures are from Colorado. It's not too Monday-ish today. Well, that's good. Same here. I'm like, this is actually an okay Monday. Okay, that was too much. Yeah, it could be worse. <laughs> I hear you. Okay, that's not bad. We make it less purple. Oh, thank you. That's just the rolling green hills of Wyoming. <laughs> okay, that's better. Um, anything else that I want to take out? The fence lines are okay. Nothing else is like obnoxious. It'd be pretty. It is pretty. There's just like no civilization. <laughs> and that kind of terrifies me. Like, I like the fact that where I live, if something were to happen, there's like a hospital a few minutes away, you know? Um, that would not be the case in a lot of places in Wyoming, I feel like. <laughs> I think that's better. No civilization, you say that like it's a bad thing because it kind of scares me. I'm from like small town Midwest. I've done the small town life. I much prefer right now at this stage in my life to live in like the city suburban kind of area. Um, I'm sure one day it'll change again and I'll want the small town life again, but, or country life. I don't know, but today is not that day. <laughs> but like, I just, when you're driving through Wyoming, 
I see these houses like out in the middle of a field and there's nobody else around them. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, if something happened and they needed help, like you would never know. <laughs> like, and for some reason, I think that's scary. Like I have an uncle that lives on a ranch in Montana. He has a goat ranch. <laughs> and he's from like the Twin City area in Minnesota and he is thriving in the farm life in rural Montana. Um, like wearing the overalls and a cowboy hat, like the whole nine yards. But sometimes injuries happen when you work on a ranch or farm. And he has told me that like he's had to learn how to like do some stitches on himself. And I'm like, nope, nope, nope. Um, or if it's bad enough, he'll go into town to go to the vet because there's not a doctor in the town closest to him, but there's a vet and the vet will like help him out. <laughs> Cause like the closest like big hospital to him is like two hours away. And I like, I can't imagine living that life. City conveniences are nice. Yes. <laughs> Oh, hi, third floor draft. Welcome on in. It's so good to see you. How is your Monday going? Wilderness first aid training is useful to have. I agree, and it's something that I don't have, which I think is why I'd be terrified to live in the middle of nowhere by myself. LOL, a vet, but no duck. Yeah, I imagine this vet is like a large animal farm vet not like a dog cat vet but maybe they do it all i don't know all right this saved in the folder right yes like i know i took so for for my gym credit in college i took first aid and cpr so like i know basic things okay but not like Not like serious things. I've actually done stitches on um, like pig skin. I've done stitches on pig skin before. So like I have like some experience with some things, but I definitely would not be like the person, like if there's like a whole group of people around somebody who like half sliced their finger off and needed you to stitch it back on, I would not be like, oh, pick me. <laughs> I've done that before. Like, I've stitched pig skin before. I got you. Like, no, that would not be me. Oh, Warlock, are you home now? Apparently they do it all. People do, right? Oh, your Monday has been rough, but doing better this evening. Great picks, by the way. Well, thank you, third floor. Um, third floor draft. I'm sorry your Monday is rough. So your Monday is monday in at full force. <laughs> but we'd pick you to do it. Okay, I better I better practice then. Um, and like I know how to like do basic splints and stuff. Um, I know how to do CPR per the rules that were in place in, I'm gonna age myself here in 2014. I even have a CPR mask somewhere. That doesn't seem very helpful, does it? Somewhere. Where did I put it? I might have given it to my husband to have at his store. You worked as a painter for a year. It feels like you were the only person with first aid training on the work site, so you got to treat some of those bad wounds. Why are people getting injured as a painter? What are they doing? Cool, you're basically a doctor. <laughs> yeah, can I be like Dr. Phil and just be a doctor without a doctorate? If he can do it, anybody can, right? I'm waiting. Oh no, Dr. Britannia went on a walk. <laughs> I was like, I was waiting for her to come back in and be like, excuse me. <laughs> 
You don't think so? You don't remember me giving you a mask? Well... There's a CPR mask somewhere. <laughs> I don't think it's in our hiking suitcase, which would be like an ideal place for it. It's not in my drawer, is it? It's in my obnoxiously long drawer. No. I don't know where it is. It was the other trades. Carpenters are clumsy and have too much power in there to... Oh. Did a few nails go through some fingers and stuff? Oh, and they don't train to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth anymore. It's all chest compressions only. Really? I mean, that makes sense. Considering COVID and all. Well, now they have, like, those, like, it's a mask, but it has, like, the air tube on it, so you don't have to do mouth-to-mouth, -mouth, you just squeeze the tube. Or they have, like, the suction cup thing where you put the mask on, and you, like, push in and then pull out, and it, like, pops the object out of the person's throat that's lodged in there for choking situations. If someone's having a heart attack, guys, chest compressions. Okay. I don't see really anything I need to remove in this. So we're just gonna up the vib the vibrancy. Is that a word? The vibrancy a little bit. Also a bit worse. You've seen a few bones in your day. I um. I'm very skilled, and in my high school anatomy and phys class, we were dissecting a cow knee. And cartilage is very slippery, and my scalpel went and sliced my finger right here. You can't see it, I bet, on camera, but I have a scar, like, right here on my finger. And you could see down to my bone. And I don't usually get lightheaded with stuff, but I got lightheaded on that one. Like, we were wearing gloves, and my whole left-hand glove was just, like, red because it just filled with blood. <laughs> and I just remember my teacher being like, oh, my God. <laughs> And I had to like sit on the floor and all that jazz. Chest compressions to the beat of staying alive by the Bee Gees. Yep. I see like on TikTok people doing other videos like or other songs too. Like as long as they're at that same beats per minute, it's going to work. But come on, why would you not want to do chest compressions to a song about staying alive when the whole point of chest compressions is to keep the person alive like like why would you ruin that beautiful coincidence I guess it'd be a coincidence because I doubt the BG specifically wrote it to be a chest compression song but you never know Actually, I wouldn't really put it past them. Okay, gonna shave this one. I like how I save it and then it's like, do you want to save? Save or don't save it? I'm like, I just saved. <laughs> Stop making me slightly panic. This one I don't know if I can save. I was hoping I could dehaze these mountains more in the back. But I don't know if I can. Whoa. there. 
One of these days I really want to drive either back up to Montana or back home to Colorado going through Yellowstone and Grand Teton. Mm -hmm. One trick, a gradient filter with the dehaze lets you focus it to the top half of the image. I didn't know you could do a gradient with dehaze. I feel like I'm learning Photoshop and Lightroom all over again because I've just been doing basic editing crap for years, like what I learned in school. And like, yeah, I'm learning like all sorts of new tricks. We did that already. I know Warlock, but I want to do it again. <laughs> it was definitely a fun trip for us. It was fun. <laughs> Just don't want it to be so blue. Sorry to go off topic. Um, one fire. I'm all about going off topic and going on tangents and then coming back, you know? But Hidden Valley Ranch versus Generic Ranch, I have found that Hidden Valley is great with just vegetables. Anything else like fries or corn dogs, it does not work. I don't like Hidden Valley Ranch. It's like too... Like, I don't know. Like, the ranch at Trivia Night is great. Hidden Valley Ranch, not great. Revealing your age, you used to do filter correction with film in a dark room. Well. Well, friend. I don't know if I'll be able to show you. Ah, let's see. Let's see if I can turn this. But do you see that? Do you see? Do you, oh, 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 oh. I don't know if I can point at this correctly, but do you see what's above my head on this counter back here? Well, that is a photo enlarger for developing film or pictures, but film pictures. And then you can see the, the red light right there. <laughs> oh thank you for the follow I appreciate it I was like what is running down the the screen that was cool but yeah I appreciate the follow very much thank you but yeah I um, I actually have in this drawer, I have one. I know there's more. Hold on. I have three <laughs> rolls of film I need to develop. I plan on doing that this week. I do know <laughs> one of these is blank. So that's going to be unfortunate using all of the stuff to develop a blank roll. I should have, if I was smart, when I removed it from the camera, marked that one as the blank one, but instead I took them all out of the cameras and then put them on a shelf. So, we'll find out. <laughs> so one of these is blank, and of course I wound it all the way back in so I can't fucking use it. Um, and the other two have pictures from Greece <laughs> on them. But yeah, I develop black and white film. I don't know how to develop color. I only ever learned how to develop black and white film. But yeah. Film roulette, right? Oh, hi, Bun Bun Beck. Welcome on in. How is your Monday? Oh, 
Oh, and in the cabinets behind me, there's several darkroom stuff too. Like, I have some filters too. If I find the two with pigs first, I don't have to worry about the third one. That's true. Oh yeah, black and white only. Color development is really tough. Also, my... F I was going to say my first photography course, but that would be a lie. Um, my second photography course I took in college was film. And... Um, yeah. And we only shot black and white film in that because that's what the darkroom on campus was set up to do. So that's all I learned. And then I loved shooting film so much that even though, so all campus jobs at the university I went to, and this might apply to all universities, I just don't know, but they were all supposed to go to students on FAFSA, on FAFSA, that had FAFSA loans. I don't know how to word that. Um, but all university jobs were supposed to go to students that had FAFSA loans. I did not because I'm spoiled and my mom paid for my college. Um, but since a lot of people don't like the dark room and I did, they hired me to be a dark room like supervisor. <laughs> So I got to sit there three times a week in the evening in the dark room, like out in the lobby area, not in the dark, dark room, um, and wait for students to come in from that film class and develop film, like classes after mine. And I would help them through the process, like I would teach them how to develop film and develop photos. Um, yeah, and it was, it was fun. But by the time I graduated, they no longer did that film class. So I wonder if that dark room is still there. Okay, a gradient. Dehaze, huh? Would I do it with this? I don't know. Usually do it in Lightroom? Okay. Um, I'm going to save this and do the rest of them. And then if you're still here by the time I'm done doing all of that, I'll open this back up in Lightroom and try it. I'm on my old desktop computer. <laughs> And it can't run Lightroom and Photoshop at the same time. So I'll try it in a bit. Did I save this one already? No. I was in the raw. Okay, hold on. Effects? No. Cause here's the dehaze. But I don't know how to make that like a gradient. Does my computer sound like it's about to take flight if I run both? Kind of, like it's a Mac, so it doesn't get quite as loud as like a PC, I feel like personally. Um, it just kind of freezes up and then gives up on life. <laughs> and it's kind of sad. Oh, thank you, Bunman Beck. Cheers. Mood. But it has three terabytes of storage on it. So I keep... Like, I could have traded it in when I bought my new computer, but I didn't want to because it's got three terabytes of storage on it. It's still a great monitor. It just freezes up a bit. So I'm going to keep it um, and use it as, like, another backup storage and a second monitor once my other computer is here in Colorado because right now it's at our Montana home. You would need to stack them and use a masking lander. Okay. 
I have never stacked images. That was actually something I was gonna learn before today's stream, but then my day got really busy. So, we'll play with that in a bit. Hey yo, hi there. You know, Rancher, I don't know how to say your name. Do you know that? Can you phonetically spell it out for me? Hold on, I will try it, but don't get mad at me. Akahiko? Akahiko's? Did I do that okay? Akahiko's? Double A? Double A's in the house? What is this? A fallen tree. Okay. I have like a hair right here that keeps tickling my nose. Stop it. I have very close, you can just call me Aki. Okay. Hi, Aki. How are you doing today? I hope your Monday wasn't very Monday y. Oh, that's not what I wanted. What am I doing? I want band aid. I really don't think I want the fence in this one though. But I'm also debating if I care because I don't really care about this picture. Just got home from dinner at dad's. Wasn't too productive today, but oh well. Hey, you know what? Sometimes you need those not so productive days to recharge your AA battery. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> You can't call him Devil A, that sounds like a battery or something else. What's this, a bra? <laughs> What's this something else? I really just don't care about this picture, so I'm just gonna close it out. If I don't emotionally connect to my own picture, then y'all ain't gonna emotionally connect to it, you know? Anime Anonymous, you! Aki? I have a person for you to follow. Then I will DM it to you. In Discord. Actually, I'm gonna DM it to you right now. Cause I'm gonna forget if I wait. You might already follow them, I'm not sure. I just DM'd you the username. And just, just check out those socials I sent you, okay? I feel like it's right up your alley. And you can tell me if I'm totally wrong. But I think I got you. I don't like this one either. It's just a big dirt hill with like a little bit of a rack. <sighs> it's not just a boulder. <laughs> it's a rock. Is that a bird? There's a bird up there. Look at that. You'll give them a peek. Let me know if I'm off base. I 
feel so much more comfortable in camera raw in Photoshop than I do in Lightroom. And I feel like I'm completely backwards. Ooh. Super blue. Super nice. Hello? Remember that whole thing that I just said about my computer being old? And it totally, <laughs> totally fucked up my sharing screen. So I get to adjust this all again on, um, while live. So that's fun. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Oh my god, who the fuck is this new but impeccable images? Warlock, can you make a note for me to remind you to send me my other overlay for this screen that doesn't have the black rectangle in it? Peace and thank you. OBS fun. OBS on a 2015 Mac that doesn't want to cope with it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> but thank you for coming back. I appreciate it. I think it still needs to go. I think that was Warlock messaging me my little reminder. Thank you! Make our home where we stand One suitcase and half a plan Follow the words and sing along Pass the voices What you doing, Kit Kat? Do you wanna come up here? No, you want to play. <laughs> I'll play with you later. No, oh, I'll keep the same number. Just so it lines up the Lightroom files. Yeah. The cat is now staring down Aspen. I think she's gonna try to get her to play. Here, hold on. I wanna see if they'll do it on camera. No? Okay. I thought maybe they might. You know. You're editing as well, so just hanging. I appreciate it. Sweet babies. Yeah. Willow is not in here, so she must be out in the 
front room. Part of the country I haven't seen. This? Wyoming? I just, <laughs> I just feel like such a brat because I'm like, you're not missing much. <laughs> Yellowstone, though, is in Wyoming, okay? And Grand Tetons, and that's nice. It's just the I-25 corridor, there's not a lot going on. Yay, she's back! Yay, you're back! Thank you for coming back. Willow is probably on guard, probably. I would betcha. Did I hear Yellowstone? You got to visit there years ago and it was gorgeous, gorgeous, darling. It's absolutely gorgeous. I agree. But yeah, I was talking about how, like, the I-25 corridor of Wyoming, there's not a lot going on. But Yellowstone is in Wyoming and that's beautiful. I-25 tends to look very similar, unfortunately, right? Bun Bun Beck knows that I-25 life. Just curious. AI, how well can you do this? And then the bunnies are in the room next door. Well, I even threw in some extra trees there. Okay. Sandstone with a pinch of red and dry berries. <laughs> you got the recipe. There's be a solar flare in that lower left-hand corner. Go big or go home. Ah! I don't know why I hesitated on home. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. Fuzzy. New, 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 new. Goodbye. I say goodbye. There we go. Oh, that's there. Okay. I think I'll keep that one. All right. There's a herd of antelope over by the airport. Your airport or my airport? <laughs> Since I just learned the other day that you have an airport. <laughs> Your airport. I swear to God, Bun Bun Beck, if you were like, yo, I'm backable, there is a moose by our airport, I would get in my car <laughs> and drive down there. What was the one who pointed them out? Oh, yeah, because he landed. Or she landed? Or they? I don't know their gender. 
Did my AirPod just disconnect or did I crash again? Hold on. I think I just disconnected. Okay. But they landed not like a couple days ago, right? Oh, you're bringing him to the airport right now? Third, Wub already has to go back? I feel like Wub just got there. comes home every nine days and stays for four. That does not seem fair. Oh fuck. I was on the wrong layer. Yeah. I'm gonna regret that. Undo. Why? Rasterize the damn object. There we go. You get your bed back. <laughs> Alright, when you put it that way. I'm just feeling really lazy right now. That and I don't know if I can get rid of all of that like wire fencing. So I'm just doing this a little bit at a time. And your blanket nest. I. I don't think what I do qualifies as a blanket nest, but like I, when I'm sitting like on the couch watching TV or whatever, I like being under a blanket. Like I don't even care how warm I am or anything like that. Like I just like being under a blanket. You have at least six as a game of if she's there or not. That's funny. <laughs> Thank you, Warlock. Today was a long day, but it was an okay day. It was just long. My phone isn't even charging. I'm just gonna keep taking this a panel at a time because I feel like when you take it a panel at a time, it's not so bad. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Which hat? <laughs> oh, and it's bright in here. Oh boy. Okay. Hat first. Which one? And don't forget, the one I wore earlier is over there. It's the purple witchy hat. 
Of course, the big one. Okay, one second. I'm going to mute myself. I need more light over here, darling. Oh, maybe it's just dark because I'm wearing my sunglasses. Looking fabulous, darling. You look fabulous, darling. Thank you for redeeming the hat and the it's bright in here. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this one because I feel like you can see me better over here. Because <laughs> there's a lamp over here. Oh, hello, cat. Hey, you don't bite in my hat. That's really rude. Get down. Get down. You buy my hat. Okay. You fix my hair. You're supposed to have hair on one side when you wear a big floppy hat. Did you know that? There's hair etiquette, darling. I feel like I need lip gloss since I'm fabulous. Don't mind me using OBS as a mirror. There we go. Thank you. is a little weird. It's just that I can't wear the headphones in the hat. Can you imagine if I bent down like this to talk every time into the microphone? Thank you. 
Yeah, hard to make it work with the hat. It's fine, darling. Only some of us can be this fabulous. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Give up again. Darn. Why, hello, V Connolly photo. How have you been? Welcome on in. That is a great hat. No sun. Isn't it wonderful, darling? I bought it, um, I think in Santa Cruz. I think that's where I got it. They have a hat store next to an excellent coffee shop. I bought this one and a green hat. Still channeling grease vibes with that hat, you know it. Honestly, if this hat would have fit in my suitcase without ruining the brim, it would have gone with me to Greece. Maybe I'll just wear it on the plane next time. Can you imagine a lady getting on a plane in this I don't know what it's picking up now. I did break the mic! <laughs> uh -oh. Hold on, I'm gonna try plugging it back in. I'm sorry for all the crinkly crinkles. Back, are we back? Testing, testing, testing. <laughs> I am so sorry for just smacking the shit out of the mic and breaking it. That was totally my bad. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Let me catch up. Um, Greece. Okay, I'm trying to not make my stream completely sad right now, be Connolly. Greece was a, su a success, but we miscarried at six weeks. So we have to go back to Greece um, to give this whole thing another try. That's what she said. <laughs> I figured somebody would, somebody would say that. Thank you, V. Connolly. I appreciate that. Yeah, it was definitely um, probably the darkest moment of my life, right there. And that's what um, this tattoo is for, because we called the embryo BB. I didn't mean to bring on the sadness. Oh no, don't worry about it, be Connolly. I I have in my edit or um, profile panels um, IVF warrior and miscarriage awareness because I want to talk about it because people need to be aware um, and comfortable, or not comfortable, but be aware and know that this happens to other people because there's comfort in community and shared experiences. Um, it sucks. But I know I'm not the only person out there to go through this, and that helps. Um, oddly enough, okay, so to like, I'm gonna try to quickly summarize this. So back in 2021, I had a huge blood clot. It went from my belly button to my ankle. They don't know what caused it. I had to have it surgically removed. So I have to be on blood thinners when I do IVF treatment and while I'm pregnant. So my OBGYN wants me to work with a hematologist just to monitor blood levels and everything while um, IVF is going on and stuff. And she is also an IVF warrior, miscarried her first IVF transfer and is now like seven months pregnant with her baby. So we had like a whole connection with that. Well, another trip to Greece isn't the worst thing in the world, right? We didn't get to go island hopping at all while we were in Greece, so um, since the embryo is already there, and we only have to do the transfer, I say that like it's like an easy freaking thing, um, but that means I only have to go to the clinic like two to three times because they monitor the uterine lining and then determine the best day to do the embryo transfer. Um, so we have more free time per se to do more things further from the clinic. So we want to go island hopping and Santorini's on the list. Yeah. The reasoning isn't the greatest. No, but it is what it is, you know? Third floor job, thanks for sharing. I have a friend that's been going through that and it's tough. It is, it's tough. Like honestly, of all the shit I've been through in my life, the miscarriage takes the cake. Hello from Singapore, photographer. Well, hello. Let me see here. Sorry, I have sunglasses and a big hat on. Is it Mazami TV or Mazame TV? I hope I'm not butchering that, but welcome on in. Happy Monday, or maybe it's Tuesday for you now. One fire, you just made my night. You're the first person I've seen use my emote. Fun Fun Becky uses them all the time. <laughs> Go to Santorini next time and take the camera gear. It was amazing. Yes. Mazami TV. Okay, first one. You got it right. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to you. It is Monday evening for me. Um, well, how is your... I guess it'd be morning for you, is that correct? But there's my positive news of the day. I always like to put some conservation positive news. Yep, morning. Well, good morning. So in Singapore, do you have tea or coffee or both? 
to wake up in the morning. Maybe you're just a water person because you have skills like that. I personally need coffee. <laughs> I'm over the moon. <laughs> we have pretty much everything. I'm a, I'm a big coffee drinker. And then my coworker was giving me crap because I was in the middle of a meeting earlier today and had just finished my coffee and I yawned. And he's like, what, you run out of coffee and you're immediately tired? I'm like, kinda, yeah. Like, it's pretty bad. I have a problem. Okay. Hot chocolate called Milo. It's either Milo, but Milo's like a name, so I went with Milo. Coffee is yuck. Give me a Red Bull Rockstar or soda. Um, B. Connolly. I used to not like coffee, and I 100% blame my husband for getting me on the coffee train. Um, I used to be, there used to be a grape rock star. I don't think it exists anymore. I used to drink that a lot. Um, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> and then I started dating my husband. Actually, it might have even been before we were dating. He was just like a big Starbucks person. And he really likes macchiatos, caramel macchiatos to be specific. But that was too strong for a little me when, when, I first started hanging out with him. So he would get me frappuccinos, okay? And those are yummy and have little coffee in them. And then eventually I wanted more than little coffee and moved on to real coffee, drank it black for a little bit here and there, um, but decided I like lattes the best. The wife loves her coffee though. <laughs> The trick to coffee is you don't make it taste like coffee. I have a chocolate raspberry vanilla coffee creamer. It tastes like a Russell Stover chocolate. Ooh. Javalia gay cup, K cups. Javalia K cups are her jam. I don't know why it's a K cups. Oh my god. I'm canceled. K cups are her jam. I don't know what those are. I know what K-Cups are. I don't know what Javalia K-Cups are. Also, it's totally been more than 15 minutes. Okay. Wow. It feels really bright in here now. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna hang the hat back up. Okay? One second. Okay, I'm back. It's a coffee brand? I don't know that one. I'm opening that up. Okay. I am. Um, I have a little espresso machine, and I make the espresso in the morning, and then I make my lattes, and then I make my husband his iced coffee, because we live that bougie life. Oh, that's fancy. It's very fancy. 
No, like, um... It's just like a little espresso machine. Nothing like... Like an actual coffee shop would have. Um... But it has a little tiny carafe and it's really cute. Um... And then... What was I going to say? Has a little tiny craft. Okay. So then I, I make the espresso in the espresso machine. And then I have a milk frother that my soy milk goes in. And then that frothes, froth, frothes that froths with the vanilla sugar-free syrup stuff. Um, yeah. And that's what I do. Well, you play. Oh, I wonder if it has to. Hold on. I wonder if it has to do because I'm on a new computer. Oh, I don't have them on this overlay. Hold on, we're going on a tangent. Hold on. I'm going to add them really quick because it doesn't take very long. Thank you for pointing that out because I totally did not think about how they are not on this computer. Where is my linky link? I use OBS. Y'all are going to go on a little journey with me through the scenes. But that's okay. Okay. Warlock, can you try now? You might be timed out, too. I don't know. Okay, that was really quiet. So hold on. Control audio via OBS. I forgot to do that. Um, okay, can you give it another try, please? Thank you for being my guinea pig. Oh my god, I keep hitting the mic. Yes, but a very cute moose. Make all the boy moose go. Ah! Okay, that sounded better on my end. That sound okay on your end? Okay. Now we're gonna go through all the scenes and add them on all the scenes. Okay, so one second. <laughs> Please hold. <laughs> okay, it's added to that one. Let me get it added to this one. And then to this one. Oh my gosh, I'm upside down. And then to this one. And to this one. Okay. 
Okay. We should be good now. <laughs> Need to upgrade to an actual mic. You know what? One fire, I would love to, but they are expensive. Now I'm getting distracted with notifications that I have. Rebecca! Go back to editing pictures. Okay, there we go. Wow, are all of y'all's eardrums okay? If you're still alive. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that one was definitely louder, but not horrible. Uh-huh. Sure. I also don't understand this whole OBS, like, volume thingy, because... <gasps> okay, it does work. It's just not very sensitive. Okay, so I moved the sound alerts down. Okay, okay, okay. Hopefully that works. Moop. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Himoop, himoop. Where are you? I'm just going to do something really rebellious here. Merge! That is my, legitimately my camera doing that shutter sound, okay? I was recording on my phone while taking pictures of my camera when we were at Redwood National Park. Last year? Two years ago? Last year. Last year. And so I took one of the shutter sounds and then just like multiplied it in iMovie. I guess, I guess I'll do this the old school way. Whatever. Why are you doing that? Okay, that's weird. Merge! I could just listen to the saxophone all day. I'm just throwing that out there. 
Nope, I don't like that. I feel like I'm like too distracted right now. Like I don't wanna concentrate. I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> you see nothing. Don't crash on me, OBS. Don't do it. Okay. It's too yellow. Okay, save that. by blue sign. It is just kind of wavy. Okay. <sighs> you know, I'm a pretty good sport about it the first time, the second time it happens. The third time, the fourth time, like, I'm like, fuck! <laughs> Impeccable bullshit! It is impeccable bullshit! Probably doesn't help that I'm getting hungry, so I'm getting a touch hangry, you know? Oh my god, and then it restarted, so... Okay, I don't have any more fruit to eat on fire, so I'm gonna refund you that. I ate my three fruit. Becca ate her fruit today. Yay, Becca, yay, Becca, yay. Becca ate her fruit today. Yay, Becca, yay, Becca, yay. There you go. I refunded you the points. <laughs> yay, Becca, yay, Becca, yay. Oh my god, one fire, you're first! <laughs> Would y'all look at that? I think I kind of like this one better. Which means I'm going to close this one out. Which 
I just don't like this junky stuff right here. Like this, this, what is this? What is this? Like what, what is this? I don't even know what that is. Is this like a lonely cow over here? Actually, we're gonna keep it. We have the we have beauty and the beast. Mhm. Mm That's not what I wanted. Oh my god, it looks like Sherbert. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Oh, you can't see what I'm working on, can you? What would I do without you, Warlock? There you go. There is the Sherbert. Why is it? Why is it Sherbert if there's no second R? Is it supposed to be like Sherbet? Good question. No idea. Me either. Alright, saving that one. I'm gonna think about this stuff in the foreground, but for now I'm gonna leave it. You know, I would like to know why my body doesn't go like, Hey man, you're getting hungry. Like, just a heads up, you are starting to get hungry. Instead, my body's like, we're good. We're totally good. We're good. We're good. Don't worry about it. We're good. We're fucking hungry. Why? Is that truly an ADHD symptom, one fire? Are you just fucking with me now? It is? Fuck. <laughs> You've got me like 98% convinced, I'm not gonna lie. Probably not doing Stardew tonight because I didn't think I'd be streaming for this long. Oh, 
Unless you guys are playing Stardew, that's fine. More accurately, it's you're hyper-focused on a task and forget to eat until you're out of that task and then you realize it. Hmm. I'm going to refer to a third-party person here. Warlock, how often do I forget to eat? How to do a gradient dehaze. Photoshop. Quite often, and then you realize later you should eat. To make a dehaze gradient in Photoshop. That just tells me how to make a gradient. Here's what I'm gonna do. Oh my gosh, that was incredible! <laughs> that was from whale watching. Oh, hello there, Aki. There. I'm gonna make my own. Mm. Cash me outside, how about that? We are going to save that. Don't replace it. Okay. Well, that was the last picture, guys. Don't die, OBS. 
Don't die. I'm trying to close Photoshop up. Yes, don't you fucking die. Okay. Ugh. Did I accidentally put some in here? I think I did. Well. Copy this one over to this folder. Okay. This is what we did today. I don't even know if this is all of them, but this is probably all the ones that I care about. Okay. Here is a hill. <laughs> Here is another hill. It might even be considered more than one hill. I am not the judger of hills. Here are mountains with hills and a road and trees. And that might be a little small itty bitty town back there. Oh, the sunset pictures are not in here. And then here is a weird Try force rock, trident rock, try something rock, whatever. It's a rock. Um, and here are some more hills. All right, where did those sunset pictures go? Copy, paste. Was not that one. Copy, paste. And then here are the other two pictures. We have our Sherbert sunset and glowy skyline I know the names are beautiful okay <laughs> oh we didn't know she was back there on the floor all right guys after three crashes I think it was three, it might have been four. <laughs> um, and only eating fruit since whenever the hell I ate lunch today. I'm really hungry, so I'm going to call it there. And I'm done editing photos, so it's a good place to stop anyway. Oh, hi, Hot Midnight. How are you doing today? Do you want to see the pictures I edited tonight? I'll go back through them for you if you want. If not, that's totally okay. Sure, okay. There, w There's not that many. It took me a while to edit them, but then I ended up not having that many. Um, one second. Ta-da! Okay, so. Hot midnight. Have you ever been in Wyoming? <laughs> Here is a hill. It's a beautiful hill. Oh no, you had a lady yell at you downtown today. She kept saying, Ew! But I didn't do anything. Think she was on a ridiculous amount of substances. Man, some people. No, I haven't. Well, there are hills. <laughs> Um, here are some more hills. Uh, 
Your brother's friend lives in Wyoming? I would bet money he lives in Cheyenne. <laughs> Um, here are some mountains with some hills and a road. People here are on a ridiculous amount of substances, right? All the don't do meth billboards. Oh my god. There is the weird looking rock. Here's the Sherbert sunset. Now I'm back in Colorado. Mountains, you know? And then here's a, I don't know, bright ass sunlight over the mountains. <laughs> yeah, I took these on the drive home yesterday. They're all right. Oh yeah, oh, sorry, sorry, more hills. Here are some more hills with a blue sky. <laughs> yeah. One state I had never been through. Well, if you drive up I-25 through Wyoming, there's not a whole lot. All the fun stuff is on the western side of the state. That's where Yellowstone is on the Grand Tetons, etc., etc., etc. How was the weather? The weather was good. It was actually really nice weather to drive in. <laughs> it was just sunshiny. The wind was not high winds. Like it was, it was decent. Midnight, did I ask you how your day is? If not, I'm sorry. How was your day? <laughs> My mind is like on a food track right now. <laughs> but I hope your day is going well. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. I finally heard from the bank that they sent out my check like a week ago, so it should be here within one or two days. Oh my gosh, I know you've been waiting a long time since August. Yeah, you, you mentioned it, definitely. I'm trying to remember why... Like, why you're waiting for the check, though? I'm trying to remember. But you did tell me about it. Mm, it was 15 business days, and then he received a refund, and that delayed it 15 more. Yeah. Because dumb, dumb semantics, details, whatever. Oh, I'm sorry. But I'm glad they sent out your check. Um, I won't lie to you. I'm really, really, really hungry. So <laughs> I'm probably just going to do my closing announcements now. No worries, Hot Midnight. No worries. Um, I really appreciate you stopping in. Um, but before I go, I have to do my closing announcements. So I'm on a normal stream schedule this week. So I will be streaming tomorrow at 5 p.m. Mountain Time. And that will be Travel and Trivia Tuesday. And tomorrow our destination is Niagara Cave from Harmony, Minnesota. It was originally going to be Winona, Minnesota, but it turns out I don't have a lot of pictures of Winona, Minnesota because of all the hard drive crashes I've been through over the years. 
Um, in real live stream, no, no. I go, so I do a travel review using pictures that I have taken from when I was there, um, followed up with a trivia game about that place. I don't have the cool technology to do in real life travel streams. <laughs> um, and then Saturday at 8 a.m. Mountain Time, I'll be doing my coffee and crafting stream. Um, all my scrapbooking stuff is in Montana, so I will be coloring on Saturday. Um, next week should be a normal stream schedule, but stay tuned because the husband's coming to Colorado. And I just want to make sure to... Um, Spend time with people while we're down here. <laughs> but stay tuned. Um, I do have three art shows coming up. One is on October 21st, so less than a month away. And I'm all ready because do you see those trunks right there? That's my art show stuff and it's ready to go. Um, I have an art show coming up on November 25th. And next spring on April 27th, they are all in the greater Denver metro area. So if you're in Denver on any of those dates, I would love to see you. So feel free to come by and say hello. Some of the details are in my About Me panels below, except for the locations, because internet people. <laughs> Some internet people. Um, but if you're in the Denver metro area on any of those dates, just let me know, and I'd be happy to send you the, the details. Um... Yeah. You have doggo? I have three doggos. One second. Okay, so here. Which way do I have to go? This way? So this is Sequoia. Do you want to say hi? Come here. Come here. Do you want to say hi? Hi, baby. Yeah. Yeah, this is Sequoia. Sequoia Rainier, because all my pets have middle names. You had an eye boogie. I had to get it. I'm sorry. Yep, Golden Retriever. But don't get don't get the Golden Retriever thing wrong. Look, she can be very fierce. Grr. Yeah, grr. Yeah. My goldie goldie girl. And then the other two are, oop, did you die? <gasps> My camera died. Oh no. I'll just have to get them to come and say hello. Aspie, come here. No, Willow's gonna come here. Hi Willow, come say hi. Oh, why you, got, why you gotta do that? Why you gotta punch me in the boob? That's not nice, especially on camera. Hold on, you got eye boogies. There you go. So this is Willow. Oh! I'm sure that was great for you guys. Wow. <laughs> Hold on. I'm making a note of that. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Aspen. Do you want to come say hi? Come here, Aspie. No, you already said hi. You already said hi. Aspen, come here. Come here, Aspen. No. Oh. <laughs> Your name is not Aspen. Do you know that? Aspie, come here. Come here, Aspie. Come here. <gasps> there you go. She's the littlest one. Good girl. All my dogs are named after trees. So you have Sequoia Radier, Willow Aowen, and Aspen Galadriel. Because I'm a nerd. There you go. Um, Willow is, she's a super mutt. <laughs> she's an Aussie cattle, uh, cattle dog mix. She has Aussie cattle dog, 
Um, pit bull, American bulldog, European bulldog. Yeah. Like a bunch of bullies, but apparently the most prevalent one is Aussie kettle dog. Hey, be nice. I know you want to play. Are you a Krabby Patty? Are you hangry too? Hmm? Are you hangry too? She does kind of have a lab look to her. I was surprised that lab was not on her DNA stuff. Um, and then Aspen, the little one, is also mostly um, Aussie Kettle breed, but she is also Great Pyrenees <laughs> and Chow. <laughs> and then the cat is Freya Amaretto. And then there's um, two bunnies in the other room, and they are Tetra Florentina and Midna Aurelius. <laughs> I have a lot of pets. <laughs> um, so one is just a Rex with like just a short hair Rex. Um, and one is a California New Zealand mix. And she's a beast. She's really big. One of the clips I have on my channel, um, I don't know how much visibility you guys have to those, but if you feel like digging, there's one of me holding Tetra on camera, if you're curious how big she is. But. I'm going to call it there and go make myself some food. Um, if y'all need to eat, get yourself some food. I am going to stream out. Um, stream out. I'm going to raid out. See, my brain stops working <laughs> when I'm hungry. Um, let's see who's online to raid. Uh, we're gonna raid Simply Tora. Why not? Simply Tora is currently playing Phasmophobia. I don't know what that is. It sounds like a spoopy game for the spoopy season. Um, I don't have another fellow photographer online, so we're gonna go to a game stream. Um, so we're gonna go raid simply tora if you'd like to come along i'd appreciate it um you get extra channel points extra polaroids for coming with um yeah thank you guys so much for all being here today i really do appreciate all of you um let me go back here thank you to kel for coming in here earlier um and gifting a sub to jacob one fire, thank you for the pick a hat redeem. Um, Cal, thank you for making me eat all the fruit <laughs> to start off the stream and drinking my water. Um, Eileen, thank you for making sure that I'm hydrated. Third floor draft, thank you for the follow. Um, Bun Bun Beck and Warlock, thank you for also making sure that I stayed hydrated. And Warlock, thank you for making me wear a hat and sunglasses at the same time like a fabulous diva um yeah thank you guys so much um again for hanging out with me tonight i really appreciate it i hope to see you next time if not i totally understand um we all have lives <laughs> but if you're able to make it i'd love to see you um and chat some more all right i hope you have a wonderful evening again thank you all and yeah, we're going to raid Simply Tora here in a minute. All right, bye!